During menopause, women tend to gain this or fat, right? This shift is a big deal for both health and hormones because number one, estrogen drops, so fat storage shifts. Before menopause, estrogen helps regulate where the fat is stored, mainly in the hips, in the thighs, and in the butt as subcutaneous fat. When estrogen drops, the fat distribution changes to the abdominal area, especially around the internal organs. That's visceral fat. Visceral fat is metabolically active and risky. It releases a variety of hormones and signaling molecules, which influence metabolism, insulin sensitivity, and inflammation. And that affects lipid metabolism, insulin secretion, appetite, and systematic inflammation. This raises the risk for insulin resistance, type 2, heart disease, inflammation, and metabolic syndrome. Visceral fat affects hormonal imbalance because it releases estrogen, but it's not the kind that your body needs. Okay. Three, slow metabolism and muscle loss means easier weight gain, right? Aging leads to muscle loss, sarcopenia, which slows your metabolism. Adding in to that, you have stress, poor sleep, and other lifestyle factors, and it becomes harder and harder to burn that stubborn belly fat. It's not just about appearance. This type of fat is actually dangerous. It's tied to how women feel. Fatigue, hot flashes, uh, mood swings, brain fog due to higher levels of visceral fat. Most traditional weight loss methods don't target hormonal root causes. And weight loss is not the same as fat loss. This is why a lot of women struggle despite trying all kinds of different things. They feel demoralized and maybe they even self-judge thinking that they don't have enough willpower or they haven't found the right method that it's them. It's not them. It's the body's changes and also the focus was in the wrong place. Next video, I'm going to talk about how this can be helped.